taxes, but you don't want to pay for anything. <laughs> I'm paying for everything now. You say it's okay when Hillary wants to raise taxes, but you don't want to pay for them. <laughs> you can pay for it now or pay for it later. <laughs> I think so. I hope so. Epsom Salts Monorail. In 1917, a deposit of Epsom Salts was discovered near the old Wingate Wash Borax Road at the southern end of Death Valley. In 1919, the claims were acquired by Los Angeles Forest Thomas Wright, although close to an existing road, Wright devised other plans to exploit the find. A scheme to dissolve the salts and transport them via a 28-mile pipeline to the Toronto Road had to be abandoned due to a lack of water. In 1922, Wright began construction of armor rail, a magnesia siding of the Toronto Railroad. Six miles south of the town of Toronto. Six miles south of the town of Toronto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it ran eastward across the end of Searles Lake through the Slate Range via Layton Canyon. Across the tip of Panamint Valley over Wingate Pass and hence the mine it consists of a single steel rail on top of a heavy wooden beam supported by A-frame trestles about three feet high Locomotives and cars ran on two wheels, and the load was balanced on each side. Much like the pack saddles on a mule's back, and construction took two years and cost about $200,000. Simple in concept, the line never worked properly, and after several attempts to increase efficiency, the operation ceased in 1927. In the late 1930s, the rail and beam were salvaged, leaving only A-frames, most of which have since disappeared. And that's what's all the way out there in the distance? That's Leighton Canyon right through there, the little pass. Uh -huh. That's what we went through there. I see. And, and the monorail came across the lake uh, where they could load it into the wagons or railroad cars. I see. And here's a picture. Turn around. Here's a picture of Epsom Salt monorail. I see. And we have this one here. This is the... John and Dennis Searles Wagon Roots. This monument commemorates two wagon routes used by the Searles brothers to haul borax from their plant on Borax Lake, now Searles Lake, to the railhead at Mojave. The southern route traveled west of the Trona Pinnacles to Searles Freight Station at Garden City. This is the present route of the Trona Railway, which connects with the Union Pacific at Searles Station. Garden City was a virtual oasis, providing food and shelter for the Teamsters and a barn accommodating 100 mules. The western route went through Salt Wells Canyon, Poison Canyon, Poison Canyon to avoid a dry station one mile from the head of the canyon and onto the Garden City where both routes joined. It then continued through Garlock and connected with the road to Mojave. I see. How interesting. And that's Searles Dry Lake off in the distance there. Yeah. And then the Epson monorail was way off over there someplace, but it's no longer really off. I see.